Hello, 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 Soulful Beginnings families. I just want to welcome you to our summer reading course that will start next month, June 6th, as you all are already aware. So I just wanted to briefly have a parent meeting with you um, just to kind of give you an overview of what your child will be experiencing um, for two weeks and to introduce myself and uh, to talk about Soulful Beginnings and what we do here. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for your interest in supporting your young scholar. The best part of this is that you are starting out very early. People always ask me, how early do you start? And when I first began my company, um, I started with three-year-olds and quickly learned that they're uh, about their attention span and how well um, they work in that time frame, and so I bumped it up to age four. And so that's where we are. We are starting in the pre-K age, pre-K stage, and I'm excited to be able to have the opportunity to engage with you and your scholar. If you don't know who I am, hopefully you do. My name is Alanda Posey and I am the owner of the Soulful Beginnings Academy. We have been established for uh, about 12 years now and we have been serving the upstate over 300 students have been served so far um, through the academy in various ways, such as this, providing summer opportunities for learning. So I'm so glad and so thankful that you are here with, here, with us today. So what does the schedule actually look like? for this particular course. We're starting today with our parent meeting and then our very first session will be June 6th and it will go that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. No session on Friday. We'll start back on the next Monday, June 13th. Go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday as our week two of camp. Uh, each session is two hours. Y'all are getting an amazing steal um, in terms of time and cost. Uh, the sessions will run from three o'clock to five o'clock. And for the very first time um, in over two years, we will have a face-to-face -face meeting. Uh, last year, these courses were virtual. And so I'm so excited to get into uh, in a face-to-face learning experience with the scholars. So where are we meeting? We will be meeting uh, downtown Greenville at the Hughes Main Library. Um, and how that situation works, y'all, it's kind of like a first come first serve basis, but usually the rooms upstairs are pretty open, especially at that time frame that we are beginning to do our work. We'll meet downstairs first and I'll grab all of the students and we'll make our way upstairs um, to begin our learning experience. Now, uh, the library does allow water and I'm going to go ahead and tell you to pack a little snack um, and we can deal with that accordingly. We won't be able to eat upstairs, but there's like a small restaurant downstairs. So I believe that we could have a little snack time down there um, so that students aren't hungry for the two hours. I know how attention spans work and uh, dealing with four-year-olds, five-year-olds, six-year-olds and how that all plays a part. So I won't be providing those things. I may bring some water, uh, but I won't be providing any of the food. Uh, so if you want your child to have a few snacks, uh, we may take a 15 to 20 minute snack break for them to eat. So our beliefs about reading. Um, I established this company because I was a kindergarten teacher in a Spartanburg classroom and I had students who knew nothing about the letters of the alphabet. They barely knew their names. And so I wanted to change the trajectory for black students across the state of South Carolina and hopefully eventually across the nation. 
And so our goal is to promote literacy and increase the reading abilities of children in every area. And we hope that uh, with these skills and these strategies that we build mathematicians, historians, and scientists, just developing those uh, 21st century learning skills so that they will be able to articulate and make informed decisions. So what you see down there at the bottom uh, is a collection of uh, some of the students that I've worked with previously uh, in uh, summer camps before and some one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions. So if you're on my email list, and by now you should be, uh, you received this checklist, seven ways to know your child is ready to read. So number one, they're interested in books. They don't mind engaging in a, in a book, meaning they like to pick it up, take a look at the pictures, kind of flip through some pages. They're even uh, interested in uh, you reading to them. So sometimes parents get a little irritated or, anno or annoyed by their child asking to read the same book over and over and over again. Parents, please do it. Um, that repetition is key. And even when they begin to read books, it's uh, very good to encourage them to read the same book over and over and over again. It's helping them to build their fluency. And we'll tackle that a little bit later. So Another way that you can tell that your child is ready to read, as you read that story aloud to them, they can remember part of the story. Uh, they can tell you kind of what happened, who the characters are, um, if there was a problem in the story, where is the story, where is it taking place? Uh, awareness of print concepts. So if you have a student who just finished 4K, then they should be able to identify the front cover, the back cover, the title, and where do they start reading on the page. Uh, being able to be ready to read, you know, most of your letters and sounds, and going into the end of kindergarten, they should be able to create and identify rhyming words and be able to count the syllables in a word. Uh, one thing that is a predictor is knowing the difference between a letter, a word, and a sentence. And that is very, a very, very tricky concept for our earliest learners. And then how do you really know? Uh, that student begins to blend the beginning sound with the chunk so if I had the word bat, the beginning sound would be b, the chunk would be at, right? And so if they see that combination together in letter form, in word form, they would be able to look at it and say b, at, b, at, bat. And that way, you know, your child is ready to read. So uh, back in 2017, I created the Soulful Alphabet. I have my own alphabet, and that is what your child will be exposed to uh, during this camp, during this course. And the Soulful Alphabet is a culturally relevant experience. It allows the children to practice their letters, the letters of the alphabet and the sounds of the alphabet, but it also gives us an opportunity to have conversation about a soul for culture, our Black culture that includes different music types, dances, hairstyles, and iconic figures. So every child that's in this course will have a set of the Soulful Alphabet cards as one of our major bonuses for paying for all of the sessions. So if you got that big bundle, your child will be receiving the Soulful Alphabet. What else will they be exposed to? Yes, the letters and sounds. It's called the alphabetic principle, right? We want our students to know that every letter makes a sound. And we take those sounds and we blend them together to be able to read words. It is the foundational um, steps of learning how to read. As I stated, uh, each, each day, uh, they will be exposed to CVC words, consonant, vowel, consonant. It's a part of the, uh, building their phonological awareness, the ability to blend sounds together to make a word. So we would have to be able to identify those vowels and those consonants. And it's okay if your child is not there yet. Please understand that exposure, 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 exposure is key. That's what separates um, us from our counterparts, right? So they begin exposing their children 
really coming out of the womb uh, in terms of them being exposed to literacy and literature and all those great things. But in this process, we will be helping our students to understand the beginning of the word, the middle of the word, and the ending sounds of those words. And that is um, a product that I've created, uh, the, the CVC words using each vowel of the alphabet and helping them to blend those sounds together, okay? We will also be using this making words map to do the same thing, building phonological awareness. Now, rhyming words, they will be exposed to rhyming words. And really for us, um, this early on, it will be being able to hear the rhyme. Okay, so you can see, uh, this is one of the hardest skills for any pre-reader to be able to hear it, identify it, and create it. Those are the three stages of learning rhyming words. And we will be in between stages one and stage two. If I have somebody in the group that is able to create, uh, that will definitely be an activity that we will be exposed to. Um, but I don't expect them to be able to master that this early on. Okay, just depending on how our group flows, uh, just understand that we will be exposed to hearing and identifying the rhyming words. Now, here's another one, and it, this also depends on who is in the group, but a, a part of this could be long vowel words like bite and kite and light, right? And so if we took a word like kite and we took the E off of it, that is the type of word that they will be exposed to in this camp, kit, right? And so we know that the E uh, makes that vowel, I say its name. And there are different uh, patterns for long vowel words. We may get there, uh, just depends on how the group flows. I just wanted to put that out there. Most definitely, we will be exposed to sight words, okay? So words that appear frequently in a, in a text, but this child needs to be able to uh, recognize them in three to five seconds, three to five seconds. Um, for this particular camp, we will have about 16 sight words that they will be exposed to, okay? 16 words. All right, and thinking about sentence formation, okay? As you see at the bottom, uh, when we learn how to read, we must understand that we read from left to right and that sentences are made up of a group of words. So it's building that foundational piece, right? So we know that this one letter makes a sound. And if I put a couple of those letters together, then those sounds produce a word. And then from there, I have to understand that each word put together makes a sentence, okay? So we, we will be working on building simple sentences. Some of that primarily will come from the soulful alphabet, as you see below, the Afro is curly. Just them, them being able to recognize that that is a sentence, that sentence has four words, the sentence starts with a capital letter. The sentence ends with a punctuation mark. All of these pieces will be very, very important as we go through this. Then from there, it is teaching them to track the print, okay? It is a skill that is imperative in the early stages of learning how to read. And as this says, students can point at the word, their voice is saying, they develop motor behaviors that will move the automaticity of their eyes from left to right. So we naturally do that, right? Because we, our eyes are trained as I'm reading to go from left to right, left to right, left to right. But that is not a skill that is innate, right? It is a skill that has to be developed. One way to do that is to uh, create what I have here, the same sentence, the Afro is curly. There's not the picture of the Afro, but I'm telling the student where to start with the green dot and to keep going, keep going, keep going and stop on curly where you see the red dot. Training their eye to move from left to right, but they are using their finger to touch along the way. That is called tracking print. 
All right, and as mentioned, we will be doing a short passage each day. And it's not that I want the children to be able to read it. Uh, this is more about listening comprehension and then being able just to tell me uh, answers to the story in terms of who, what, when, where, why, and how. Just simple questions from the story. Now, tools that will be provided by Soulful Beginnings. You can see these things here. I have the computer there, not that I'll be providing every child with the computer, um, but some of the activities that I will bring will come on my laptop. They will receive the Soulful Alphabet Kit. We will have the Making Words mat. In the bottom corner, you see that poster there of the Soulful Alphabet. So every child will receive a mini poster um, and things such as markers, colored pencils and crayons will be provided. If you have um, particular concerns about sharing materials, you're more than welcome to pack them with a little um, pencil box or whatnot, if that's something that you want to do so that they only use their items. Just have that conversation with your child. I'm not against that at all. I understand the times that we're in, um, but there will be materials provided. Now, what are your responsibilities in this work as the parent? Um, just basically to bring your child to the library on assigned days. Uh, we will be developing a reading folder over time. So just bring that folder to each session, session, excuse me, and uh, use the daily review to practice the skills at home. So letters and sounds, whatever words we're working on, whatever chunks, word families that we're working on, if there are sentences that I want them to be able to practice over and over, do those things at home each day if you can. Um, if you can't, I completely understand and that's why they will be with me for two hours. Um, highly encourage reading. So in this process, we all are gonna be working together. So um, your energy is important in terms of how you provide encouragement uh, for them learning to read. Now, I do have a disclaimer. As you make this purchase, um, it was with the understanding that you would receive eight video sessions, uh, I'm sorry, video recordings of the session. So what I want you to understand is that the actual sessions will not be recorded, right? Because I'm going to be the only person or adult there with them. However, I will be creating recordings of the skills that we do each day so that you can review all summer long. You'll receive a daily synopsis of what we learned each day, and that will help um, you to use the materials that they get from each session to practice at home. And please understand that those recordings will be available to you by the end of June. So I'm going to take the first two weeks to actually work with your child, and then the last two weeks um, to record and then have that readily available for you, okay? Last but not least, I just wanted to let you know what else we offer. So we've created um, sight word journals, starting with pre-K, going all the way to fourth grade. And if you haven't been able to get your hands on one of these, it's a fabulous, fabulous tool. Um, each one has about 25 to 30 sight words. And once your child has mastered um, that particular list, then you can move on up, right? So if they get the pre-K one and they've got it, move up to kindergarten, then go to first grade, so on and so forth. Uh, to match the Soulful Alphabet, and if you want some writing practice, we have the coloring book. Soulful Alphabet coloring book is available. And I'm just telling you about these um, things because at the end of the course, you will receive a, um, a coupon code for you to continue to shop with the Soulful Beginnings Academy. And if you're not aware, I am an author. And at this point, I believe it is actually 10 books that have been published. And these were my first five outside of Naomi Visits Letter City. So we have each letter of the Soulful Alphabet. I've created a book to go with it. A is for Afro, D is for Dashiki, C is for Comedian, F is for Fade, and G is for Gospel. So those are things that are offered um, through the Soulful Beginnings Academy. 
as I said in the beginning, I am ecstatic. I'm excited. I'm encouraged. Um, I'm just overall, I'm just happy to have this opportunity to work with a new set of students that are beginning their journey in literacy. They are beginning to learn how to read. And people ask me, which grade do I like teaching the most in this kindergarten? Because you uh, have the ability to mold their minds, to put so much information into their heads so that they have what they need to be successful as a reader. And so that's what is exciting to me. Uh, it doesn't matter if they've already completed 4K. It doesn't matter if they've already completed kindergarten. We are in this together. And um, that is the most uh, exciting thing for me. So I'm going to go ahead and end this now. Um, if you have any questions after you listen to this recording, please feel free to call me 864-238-5679, or you can shoot me a message via email, soulfulbeginningsllc at gmail.com. It has been a pleasure having this conversation with you. Um, and I look forward to talking with you all soon and meeting you in a few weeks. So until next time, soulfully, Alanda Posey.